and another one is like this. same result. So, uh, but here, so this is uh, for this uh, for this matrices. So they have a common uh, column. One uh, column is column. So this is just this one. Now, and in the commutative case, oh, so this is just P. where these are just standard looker uh, chord. And uh, the advantage of this is that uh, if you just act on this uh, matrix by GL2 over again of a non-commutative skew field, those are just invariants like these. And now then, um, what are relations for these guys? And now the relations are like this. So you take just this product and you exchange J and L, and this is one. And this is actually then analog of standard Blucher relations, because if you will just use just this expression, then you may see that here and here the denominator is basically the same. Up to a sign. I don't have time to do this, so but it can be easily done. But uh, they have actually. Uh, there is one more relations, which can be written in the following way. And this is non-commutative version of uh, skew symmetry. Non-commutative skew symmetry. If you replace each of these elements in this form, and you use the uh, so the skew symmetry for Glucker coordinates, so you, you will get exactly this. I have a quick question. Yes. About the superscripts on the first relation. Yes. Super oh, sorry. It must be. Uh, it must be. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, it must be J here. Okay, yes. So, so just this one. Now, how to get actually so these relations? And these relations actually, if you just replace x i j by well plus minus, uh, uh, so uh, minus you, you need some sort of positivity depends on the. Uh, the comparison to phi j, uh, you can do it this way. And if you will do this for each of these guys, then these relations will, will apply the first one, and the second one will apply so the second one. Uh, or you can say, you can do the same with uh, another, uh, sorry, this must be here. Or you can do this, you can take this as a model. And you will have again so, so the same. But uh, so I will stick just 
with this expression, and those are just our generalization of uh, commutative Ptolemaic Lukács relations. Now let me formulate you just theory. So I don't need this anymore. Okay, uh, now again, so let me suppose you can just this say so polygon. Well, this one. And uh, I will define just an algebra. consider just any sequence i of, um, of uh, integers must be even and uh, well so they, they all are in between n and to each of these sequence corresponds variable xi in this algebra, which is written like this. Now let IJ will be just support. So I say that I is IJ admissible. If I 
then C All right. and so now I will formulate the theorem. Schiffler uh, yeah. follows exactly from mm -hmm. this, uh, but the advantage of working with the non-commutative is very rigid. You basically know what you can multiply and what you so cannot. The way the proof is easier. But the proof is easier. Yeah, the proof is easier. Yeah. And it also implies the original formula of Lubinsky. Original formula of Lubinsky was just a sort of an example. No. The, the, no, their proof follows actually, I believe, from their theory. So yeah. there were no, no formulas, I yeah. believe. The formulas were given explicit. by Schiffer. Yeah, that's a good yeah, explicit. Explicit thing. Uh, just one example to make this easier. So again, that's one, two, three, four, five. And suppose you have just this triangulation, you need to know this. So x to five equal x to 1, x41 plus x45 plus x23, x13 plus x15 plus x21, x31 inverse, x34, x14 inverse x15. So let's discuss what we have here. Well, this is so this is easy. You go to 1, then you intersect this, and you arrive up to 5. So that's easy. To 3, you go this way, then this way, and then you arrive this. That's the, the longest, and it goes like this. To 1, then you intersect here, you arrive to 4, you're going back to 1, and then you go to 5. And uh, there are many examples of uh, this term. So this is just this one. Now I believe I have five minutes, so just I need to introduce one more, maybe, invariant, which is rather interesting. And so let me talk about non commutative phantoms. What are non-commutative patterns? And the thing is the following, so suppose you have just this triangle, I, J, K, and you consider the following, you have a vertex I, and you consider the following expression, which is X, J, I, inverse, X, J, K, X, I, K, inverse, uh, so, okay, so that's it. Uh, so basically you go from, from I to J, from J to K, then back here. That's the same as J. Then from, from certain upstairs, basically you have the formula that T I J L is equal to T I J L. Plus T I K L. 
So basically you add like two. So what is this angle? So this angle is like sum of two. And then it's very easy to well okay, so this angle. Since in the commutative case, you know that the sum is uh, 2 pi n minus 2, by dividing this sum by 2 n minus 2, you know what is the non-commutative pi. <laughs> now, okay, so this is just this, uh, and now then, this is just polygon, uh, let me just Briefly, that from polygon you can go to <coughs> surfaces. How you go from to surfaces? That first of all, then you may identify some edges, but also you can propose the condition that uh, your surface has some marked points, and you consider and your triangulations are allowed. Okay, you, you may consider any triangulation, but this point must be vertices always. And if you will do this for a special for triangulation of a special sort of cylinder, you get the uh, solution of the uh, follows conjecture by Kansevich. And it says that suppose you have just a system like this, that is in his original notations. So you have uh, just a chain of variables, well, u sub i, and you define u sub n as, so as this expression divided by this one from the left, when n is even, or the opposite in this way, when n is odd. And the conjecture was that in this case you have this Laurent phenomenon, so u sub n can be expressed as uh, phenomenon in the, in the first, well, I believe, three, but I have to, to check so this one. And so it, it is a Laurent, really, Laurent polynomial with uh, a positive coefficients, but it follows from the uh, general theory, and I don't know any other proof of this. Oh, this that's a special case of the theory. Yeah, that's a special application. That's just application. Of Okay, and so then maybe I'll stop here. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.